we just bought our tickets to Koyasan, including uh, the ride up the cable car. And it costs 950 yen per person, and we just bought it from this machine here. There's a there's an English menu as well, so very nice. Koyasan, here we come, 207. First time getting a hot beverage from a vending machine in Japan. Yeah. It's actually hot? It's hot. Oh! <laughs> that's hot. This is the train that's gonna take up the twists and turns to Koyasan. We didn't get the limited express one. This is just the, I guess, express one. Yeah, the limited express one was more expensive as well, but this one was departing at the time that we, we needed, so. We're taking is number 21. I think that's the only one that goes to the town center. All right, guys, we've just made it to our accommodation for tonight, Echo Inn Temple. Um, we took a bus from Koyasan Station. You're not allowed to walk between Koyasan Station and the town center, so you have to take a bus or a taxi. Uh, it cost us 340 yen to get from. Poisson Station to here. This is the Koyasan room tour. We've just checked in. Got a bit of a view, it's raining today, but sets the mood. It's very Japanese. Ooh. So we got some tea. What are these? Oh, tea. Tea cups? Tea cups. Ah, uh, okay. This is probably like teapot. The hot water, maybe. Yeah. So dinner's done and uh, they've come in and um, set up the beds for us now. So this is where Maya and I will be sleeping tonight. Just on our way to the cemetery now. It's uh, quarter past seven. Just heading there now with the tour group.
So our tour guide apparently told us that these steps do not fall on these steps because if you do, then that means you're going to die within three years or you have up to three years to live. So uh, it's a bit slippery because it's raining today. Me and Maya being extra careful. So we're in uh, Shukubo, which is um, a lodging in a temple for pilgrims. And what you see in front of you is a traditional yukata, which is what they wear in the Shukubo. What a fail. So we were told by the monk last night that they use pines instead of flowers here because they thrive a lot better and they don't die as quickly as flowers. So beyond that point, we can't take any more videos or photos, it's just too sacred for any of that stuff. But before you go in there, um, what you should be doing is kind of like cleansing yourself, but in a way of doing that is to kind of cleanse the so they're like deities of Buddha, like different deities. And what you do is you just grab a spoon of water and just pour it over the statues in prayer. And that supposedly cleanses your body, purifies it before you enter the sacred space. So I'm just going to quickly do that before we go in. So apparently there's um, this well here and um, if you look into it and you can see your reflection then you're fine but if you can't see your reflection that means you're gonna pass away in three years. Yeah I'm there. You're there? Yeah, yeah I'm there. You're good? I'm good. Phew!
Mai and I were about to go to Family Mart for lunch, um, but we stumbled upon this place called Ponpaco, and um, it's a cute little restaurant, and the dishes are quite cheap. So we've got, we got one udon set and one soba set, and they're both 1,000 yen, so about 11, $11, $11, $12. dollars all right, so my udon set has come out. We've got the sesame tofu. Um, guessing pickles, rice with corn, some veggies and mushrooms, uh, pickled carrots, and the main attraction, the udon. And Mai's has also come out as well. She got the. Soba noodles, Ooh, looks good. And to accompany this, the udon set, got a beer. This is Diamond Gate. Uh, they say it's uh, the gateway to Khoisan. This thing is grand. You got the two protectors of the gate. This is Kongabuji Temple, uh, one of the main temples here in Khoisan. That's a wrap for Koya-san. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.